Has anybody ever heard of a thing called a bow and arrow? See, the way a bow works is you have to pull backwards on it before it can be used for its purpose and then launched forward. So it looks like you're being pulled back and it looks like there's something that is pulling you back. But God is using it. Whatever you are facing right now, it is preparing you for the future that you are about to step into, that God is calling you to, that he is moving you to, that he is guiding you to, that he is shooting you forward in the process too. But it might take a while. It's not going to happen fast. And you, because then you, if, if it happens fast, you'll think it wasn't God. God's providence is all throughout the preparation. But we want it to immediately happen because we want to see God just move through our lives so all the troubles will go away and we don't have to do anything. We just want to prop our feet up on the couch and Jesus come and save us of our sins and beam me up to heaven, Scotty, and we'll be done. We want it immediately, but God always takes the slower route to build us up for his blessing, to transform our minds for his message for his plan he does it in his way so that we learn to trust him in all things and seek him in all things because he is working through all things for us that is why the story of the suffering of joseph wasn't all for nothing the suffering that you go through isn't all for nothing and where a lot of people are tempted to believe that a good God wouldn't cause bad things to happen, it's not God's fault, it's our fault that we have to sin from nature and we deal with the problems that we have to deal with because of the fall of man. And one day, yes, it will be corrected, but it's not for nothing. Jesus knows your suffering. He has suffered with you. He has suffered for you. And he knows what it feels like. It's not all a bad thing.